and this is part 4 of the Velocitor and Track Editor Guide. In this video I will cover invisible gates. They are found under the invisible folder of the asset library. The two we use 99% of the time are the square invisible gate and the plain flag invisible gate. The first section of the track that we need an invisible gate is coming over this hurdle here. Since it's got a fixed width, um, I'm just going to use one of the square gates. I'm um, going to shift Z on that um, hurdle to properly place the invisible gate in the right location. And then now it's just a matter of scaling it correctly. So I think something like this seems pretty reasonable. And then we'll add some height. And then we'll raise it up just so people can't cheat through this little air gap there. Um, a little higher seems sensible. Awesome. Okay, that one's done. Now what you'll notice is we've currently got two um, checkpoints over this hurdle. One from the flag and one from this invisible gate. The flag one can kind of be triggered anywhere, so it's really not as um, precise or useful as this square invisible gate. So I'm actually just going to delete that flag altogether and replace it with a flag from the barriers folder, which doesn't have a checkpoint. Just um, for neatness, really. So I'll delete the original, shift Z for the new one, place it correctly. Um, this one was just a touch smaller than the ones we were using, so I'll scale it up just a little bit, and that seems pretty good. Um, now, after we fly around this far gate, we have to come back around the right side of this flag. So this is where I will use one of the flag um, invisible gates. Shift Z on the cone, like usual. Oh well, okay. That didn't look lined up, but it definitely is. Um, Okay, and then I'll just move the checkpoint out just a little bit like that. Awesome. Okay, next checkpoint. As you come and do the split S over this gate, I want to make sure pilots actually come and fly over the gate rather than some other roundabout way to do it. So we'll place a backwards facing square gate trigger right on top of the gate. I always like to be a little bit extra lenient with these sort of um, square triggers in this sort of scenario. So I'll place it like that. That way pilots have plenty of height and width in case they take a wide line and they're not going to miss the trigger. That seems reasonable. And then for this one we're just doing a spiral up. So I'm going to use a flag trigger for the first section. Make sure we rotate it correctly, just like that. I'd say that looks pretty good. And then a square trigger, just to round it out as you go over the top. Okay, I'd say that looks very good. Now we just need a reorder. So that's gate 6, followed by gate 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, did I miss one? Alright, 12, 13. 14, and the square trigger, oh, if I can select it, so it comes 15, and that should be done. So 16, 17, 18. 
Okay, so that's how to use invisible gates in Veloster. I'll see you guys in the next video.